69. And these are the last remaining holders I got in my possession. I got one big meal on that side. And that's a big meal right there. And the reason I got him separated at the moment because I don't want no accidents in here. He's chasing everybody else. And as far as I can tell, I think I got two females and uh, three males. But I could be wrong. Trying to get everybody off film here. Uh, I had a shrimp tank above this. I just took that down and put that in the basement. And uh, these here are going very nicely. I just talked to the three gentlemen that got most of the overs that I did have from their previous, my last uh, uh, pair of spawn, and they are all doing great. So that's good to hear. And um, that was a good idea to uh, send some this place, some that place, you know. In case something should ever happen, it's enough holders around. <clears throat> to, you know, in case I need a male or a female, I can always go and call somebody. You know, send out a lifeline there. And this was the very last spawn they had before he killed her and then mysteriously died the same day that he killed her. And that's just a small update on my hogus, boomerons, antelopes. Now we can really see them. We couldn't see them at first because I had a tank on top and then I had a light on top of that tank. So it didn't really shine down into this. And I'm about to move these out of here. And that's the little female right there. And I'm going to tell you, these are, they are not really camera shy at all. Uh, the biggest one is about five inches. That's him over there. And then this one pulling in about a four, close to it anyway. And they just trickle down in size like stair steps to about two and a half inches, the smallest. That's just a small update. That's all, y'all. Peace.